guys, welcome back to another Twitch Studio One video. And yeah, if you have been alive for the recent days, which I hope. You obviously must have heard about what has happened to a triple seven at LAX on Thursday, actually. So yeah, let me break this down. After departure, a triple seven from Philippine Air, Air, Airlines or Air, whatever suffered an engine failure, which is also called compressor stall, which is a specific type of engine failure slash engine fire. But we will talk about that later. And yeah, today I thought let's just recreate this flight. And that's what I'm doing now. As you can see right here, I have spawned in at LIX. I've already spawned in onto the runway, um, because taxiing is for losers. And yeah, let's just recreate this flight. The affected plane was a 777-300ER. This is where we come to a little probe problem this and this is where we come to a little problem as you might be able no you're not even able to tell right yeah this is a triple seven two hundred long range and um i don't have the 300 so we'll have to use the 200 which is only slightly shorter than the 300 and that's basically it there's not much difference so yeah this is not too accurate we're not in the same aircraft model but you know as long as it's the triple seven we'll be fine i guess so yeah this plane was headed off from lax obviously to Manila, which is Philippines capital city or something. It's a very long flight, 14 hours. Now this plane departed at 7 p.m. 48 Zulu, which in LA time is around 11 p.m. or something. So yeah, let's just take off, shall we? And see what happens after takeoff. Now this flight simulator can recreate pretty much everything, but the thing is we do not really know what after all caused the uh, compressor stall because that is still unclear. No one knows what actually cost it but we can still recreate the engine failure okay it's rotateta there we go now the lax scenery is very challenging for this uh, computer to handle this is a big city and there's a lot to render now very shortly after takeoff the compressor stall started happening in the right engine yeah, i think it was the right engine at least uh oh so here we are in the failure menu here we can recreate a lot of failures and uh, we're gonna select the compressor stall failure we are going to affect engine Two, which was the one that was affected in real life, I hope. Okay, that has failed now. Let's go ahead. <clears throat> As you can see right here, this instrument is telling us that our right engine is going crazy, completely crazy. And uh, you know, it goes up and down. The flight is very shaky and uh, you can even hear some passengers screaming. Oh, yep, sometimes fire comes through, but it's not a permanent fire. There are only flames sometimes, but not always. Now, obviously the crew decided to return back to LAX. Oh, oh passengers are screaming, that's not too good. Yeah, and meanwhile, engine two has officially died, which you can also see the engine is completely dead. So we will now have to return back to LAX. Actually, the plane was maintaining four to three thousand feet always. Uh, so let's do that as well. Let's turn right and get into a little pattern. There we go. There are quite a lot of balloons here. Low balloon. Now, obviously, a plane is able to normally fly with only one engine. That is mostly no problem, even though we have uh, a lot of stuff going on here. Now, actually, from what I've heard, the engine actually kept rumbling. So maybe the crew didn't turn off the right engine. I don't know. That wouldn't make any sense, would it? Now, one thing, though, there is a major problem with landing pretty much right after takeoff. Now, yes, as I already said earlier, the average flight time for this flight is 14 hours. So there is a lot of fuel in this plane right now to survive for 14 hours, obviously. And now the plane takes off and is too heavy to actually land straight away. But in this case, we have to land straight away, but we're too heavy. So to conclude this, basically, when we land, the tires will blow because we are too heavy and that's basically the whole deal. So yeah, we can kind of start working on the approach now. You know, let's just kind of do a little turn here for base. And we're actually a bit fast. We're going 300 knots. But yeah, as you can see right here, the plane is just perfectly still flying. And if you are lucky, in the case of a compressor stall, the affected engine might actually not die and just function as normal again after the compressor stall. Now let's turn left. Now the plane landed on 25 left in LAX. I think 25 left is the longest runway in LAX, so that obviously makes sense. And the fire alarm sound is so annoying, <laughs> and I don't know how to turn it off. Literally, this is my first time flying the 777 in X-Plane ever, and so it's also my first time landing one. And yeah, having only one engine work probably doesn't help either, does it? Now, let's try to come in for a nice landing, I guess. Now, obviously, there was quite a lot of fear 
on board, but compressor stalls are not really that dangerous, especially if only one engine is affected, which happened in this case. Autopilot is activated and it's doing some random stuff. I don't know how to deactivate it. <laughs> uh, Alright, so we are actually coming in for a landing now. This is gonna be uh, quite interesting. Oh, balloon, you might not want to be here. Uh, now, obviously, if you only have one engine, you do not want to use reverse thrust, which is another reason why you should always pick the longest runway. That's uh, weird to have only one engine running. Oh, oh, oh. Butter. Oh, not butter. Tires blown. Oh, that was not too bad, was it? Now, actually, the crew decided to uh, taxi this plane back to the ramp, which is something that I would not. I mean, our tires are blown, so uh, yeah, I'm not really motivated to actually go back to the ramp. So let's just stay here and block the runway. But let's just check out that landing. Yeah. Kind of felt like a very, very, 